inspired by guardians of the galaxy i decided to make this rocket raccoon makeup for today well if you want to know how i have created this makeup please keep watching because i will explain it step by step in the coming video and if you don't want to miss any of the videos we upload to this youtube channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button To start creating our rocket raccoon, I first need to get rid of my hair and my eyebrows. So I'm going to get rid of my hair using a bald cap by Meron. These are made of latex, very thin and easy to blend away on your skin. I won't put this bit in the tutorial, but if you want to know more about getting your hair gone with a bald cap, please check the video I will put a link to in the description box. The same counts for blocking your eyebrows. There is a separate video on that as well. I quickly changed my hoodie to a vest as I need to get the costume on at the end of the video. And I probably can't put the hoodie over my head anymore. I changed to a vest. Now I have have the bald cap on the ears are in the bald cap because rocket raccoon of course has his own ears and i can't really use mine so i wanted to create the ears myself but when i ordered the costume there was a mask with it to make a rocket raccoon of yourself it was a terrible mask uh, but there were very lovely ears on it so i just cut them off the mask that was with the costume and i am going to put that on my face as the rocket raccoon ears this is a very funny material i think it's latex rubber so i'm not going to glue this with prosate but i'm going to glue it with liquid latex because i think it would hold best if i would use liquid latex and i will put a layer of latex there you could try this with prosate but Somehow I don't think it would hold with prosade as it's a very strange surface to the mask. That are the ears. I've got a little bit of latex with flour to get nicer edges from my face to the ears because there is quite a gap here. I'm not really thinking of the color or what I'm doing to the forehead because I'm going to put fur on it anyway but I don't want the height difference that will be visible even with the fur on it so I'm kind of minimalizing what I did with the height difference That is enough with the latex on the forehead. This needs to dry really well. So I'm just going to continue to the rest of my face before getting back to that forehead. A different piece from the mask that came with the costume was the nose. I couldn't use the jaw because it just wouldn't fit any way I put it. Uh, but I do want to use the nose because it would save me a lot of height to create uh, with just liquid latex and cotton wool. So this one I'm going to get on with latex once again. I'm just going to fill it up because it's hollow, of course. Um, and it kind of gets my entire upper jaw. I can still make the bottom under it. I let it dry for a bit and I think it will hold so I'm going to continue to the bottom jaw that needs to match the top jaw uh, so this is going to be a lot of liquid latex and cotton wool I didn't prepare this you could definitely do that on a live cast of course um, but I'm just going to build it on my face
So I quickly got my blow dryer to blow dry this latex a bit because otherwise I would have just been sitting here for ages waiting on it. I'm going to continue coloring my skin, although I'm going to use fur on Rocket Raccoon. I think it's best to just pre-color my skin because otherwise I think you would see the difference between the color of the... Um, latex and my skin tone so i've got the wicked palette by pro air and there is a nice color to color the light bits of the fur and a dark brown to color the dark bits of the fur i'm going to mix this with a bit of prolong and then just put it on my skin but before i will start doing this i will quickly get a reference picture of rocket raccoon to see where the color should be white and where the color should be brown With the solids in black, I'm going to do the inside of the mouth. I could do a lot more to it. I could give him teeth, I could give him a tongue, but I just want to get it black. Because that is the quickest and I do still have a lot of work to do. Well, I just quickly popped in my black contacts because they are best fitting for Rocket Raccoon. Now we're going to continue with Wool Crab. This is for the edges of the face. This is blonde mixed with white. If you're new to Wool Crab, I've got a different video explaining how to work with it. So I will put a, a link to that in the description box down below. For now, I'm just going to cut this and get it on the sides of my face. And to glue it, I'm going to use Prozade. I'm going to retry the flocking because that didn't do what I wanted it to just a minute ago. Uh, maybe the batteries are almost empty or something like that. So I'm going to start in my neck. That is the easiest to redo with the makeup. Might it not work flocking the fur as I had planned for this video. So I'll just try a bit of it. Well, and as you can see, there is a fur that I can actually stroke and it won't go anywhere because the hairs are glued to the prosite. I could move them back and forth as well. So as you might understand, I'm very fond of my flocking machine. Um, I'm just going to do the entire face, all the brown bits with it, and I'm going to use the airbrush a lot. So I'm just going to fast forward this bit until all the fur is on where it needs to be. And then the battery pack of my camera died. So basically I just flocked everything that needed to be brown fur with the brown flock um, for now i do need to, to do something to my eyes and i need to get that costume on so that's the thing i'm gonna do first and there is the nice space outfit that rocket raccoon wears of course um, i need to make the eyes brown i am going to get some water-based face paint to do this because i don't want to get alcohol activated makeup around my eye especially with all the hairs flying around i'm going to choose a maroon brown paradise makeup and with the brown around the eyes, I think our Rocket Raccoon makeup tutorial from Guardians of the Galaxy, of course, is complete. Uh, I had loads of fun creating this makeup, although flocking yourself can be quite inconvenient at times, especially if you've got all those hairs in your nose and in your eyes and in your mouth. But well, it's the end result that counts. I definitely hope you enjoyed watching me 
creating this rocket raccoon if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our youtube channel in the link below to stay tuned on all the videos we upload to this youtube channel for now i wish you a wonderful day and of course i hope to see you next time